Hello Cyanogen Mod users, today I'd like to talk a little bit about overclocking with the HP touchpad in Cyanogen Mod 9. A few people have asked me if it's possible to get to 1.9 GHz on the HP touchpad, and it is indeed possible, but I don't recommend it myself. Here in the Roots Wiki forum, you see an excellent post by ShowP1984, and he provides us with the bricked kernel 0.5 for Cyanogen Mod 9 and ice cream sandwich. Uh, what this will do is it will change our default clocks and raise them. It'll also change our GPU clock. Now, our original clock is about 1200 megahertz, and this will increase it to about 1500 megahertz and with an upwards threshold of 1900 megahertz. So it'll give people that overclock that some people have been desiring to try out. In addition to this, it will also speed up our GPU clock to 320 megahertz, as you can see here. Uh, originally, it starts at 266, like the 2D clock below that you can see. Uh, but there's also some other release notes here, such as being able to undervolt the CPU, save a little uh, extra juice and battery life, that sort of thing. Anyways, now there's some big caution notes, which I have to mention due to this. Uh, you know, overclocking is a dangerous procedure. Anything that happens, I am not responsible. Show P1984 is not responsible. If you do this, you make your own decision. So. Big caution there. Now, in addition to this, you're going to need to understand, uh, to get this working, a lot of people have reported uh, that they had screens of death happen five, six times. This also happened to me. A screen of death will be, you'll put it into sleep mode, and it will not resume. You'll hit it, nothing will happen, and you'll probably freak out a little bit. Now, this happened five or six times for me as well. And it's a little disconcerting, so this is not for the faint of heart. You're going to need to test this out a little bit. Now, after that, it seems to work perfectly fine, and I haven't had any crashing or rebooting like that. The smoothness of scrolling through my windows really has improved. It's really a fantastic update if you're willing to take the risk of getting it going. I'll take you through the install procedure if you're feeling up to it. First thing we're going to need to do is download it here. It's going to need to go into the root directory on our HP touchpad. Here you see it here. Next up, reboot the machine. Go straight into the bootloader. Same update procedure using the clockwork mod that you've seen in other videos. All right, we're in. Scroll down using the volume buttons. Go to install from zip, to zip card, hit the home button. Choose the file, hit the home button again. Scroll down to your file. Brick version 0.5, ICS.zip, that's the file. We're gonna click OK. Uh, I'm not gonna install it now because I already have it installed, but you'll simply click that and you'll come back to here and you'll simply go back and choose reboot now. Now, I would recommend this. It has improved performance for me, but it is a little unstable, and you're going to notice that problem that I was talking about for at least some users. Some people didn't have as many problems. Uh, I did experience it four or five times, and now it seems to be pretty stable. Oh, uh, here's the updated version of No Kanging Droids. Uh, this is the XL version. I haven't released it yet. I'm still finishing it up, smoothing out the frame rate a little bit. Uh, but it has nearly double the frames. Actually it may have, this edition may have a little more than double actually. I'm still finishing it up. As you can see it's a smoother animation. I'll provide a link to it uh, once it's available and there will be a link in the description as well. I have a pop-up coming up. Okay, this is my custom boot animation. Fills up the time nicely for the boot I find. No Kane Droids, Science and Mod 9. And there we have it. I find everything is a little perked up. My booting time is a little perked up. 
movement of the screen has improved. Gaming has improved, uh, but I won't get into that in this release. Anyways, please like and subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please be cautious when overclocking. Thank you.